What's up YouTube? It's me Casey and I'm back with another video. And in this video we finally have confirmed release dates for the launch titles that will be coming out for the Nintendo Wii U. Now I already said confirmed release dates for launch titles so that means these games are going to obviously be at launch. So we finally have confirmed games that are going to be at launch rather. Okay. So. You know, we've been waiting forever. Freaking UK, freaking Japan already got their launch lineup going strong. They already know what they're going to be getting at launch. What about North America? Well, well, well. I finally have a compiled list of 23 games that are going to be at launch. And I have also the launch window games that are going to be released later. Now... I could just read off this list to you and just be all like, okay, that is it. You know, I'm done. You know, I'm walking away. I'm done with this. You know, whatever. Here are the launch lineup games, and I'm done. I could do that, but I'm not going to do that, okay? I like to go into a little bit of detail, you know, not to spend too much time on each title, but give you a reason why these games could be good or could not be good or how do I feel about it? Okay? So, the first thing that they already said is going to be confirmed at launch for the Nintendo Wii U is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now, obviously, I don't like Call of Duty. Okay? But the fact that, you know, it has motion controls and they have zombie mode and it's in HD, you get all the content because remember on the Nintendo Wii's version for zombies... They claim, even in the book, it said that you will be getting DLC. And they were also working on it for the Nintendo Wii U. I mean, not the Nintendo Wii U, but the Nintendo Wii console. But it never came. We never got the next stage of zombies. You know, and that's what I mainly got Blops for. Blops 1. Now for Blops 2, which is Call of Duty Black Ops 2, we finally have zombies. In HD, there is no excuse as to the reason why they can't release the DLC for this system. Point blank. Okay, so Call of Duty 2 for the Nintendo Wii U is going to be a great launch title. Okay, I will probably most likely pick that up. Okay, you got Skyland, Skylanders Giants. Okay, that's for kids and for the rest of the people that like. And love Skylanders. Okay, that's gonna be your type of game. I'm not into that. You got Transformers Prime, which looks really kitty and looks like something that could be ported to the Nintendo Wii. The game looks like garbage. It's gonna play like garbage, and it is gonna be garbage. Okay, now you have Wipeout 3. Garbage. Okay, the only Wipeout game I think. That is called Wipeout. It's going to be on the PlayStation, alright? That game is great. Wipeout HD is good. Wipeout 3, you know, with the ABC channel show, okay? That is not going to be a good game. Disney's Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2. Who is going to be getting this at launch? I mean, I really don't know. I'm very skeptical about the game because of the first game that came out. It got mixed reviews you know some people said they liked it some people said they loved it some people actually say they hate it because of the camera controls and that you were running through the same levels all the time all right so i'm i'm very skeptical about that game you got ea sports fifa soccer 13 okay for the you know for the last time i'm gonna say this and i hope this will be my first and last please do not buy a sports title at launch please wait for the price to go way down there is no reason for you to spend sixty dollars on a sports game okay it's a sports game It's going to go down eventually buy it at a low price wait for it all right you got tekken tag tournament 2 wii u edition okay tekken is a decent game but I'm tired of all of the juggling and all this stuff. For casual players, this game will be great for you. For experienced players, unless if you're a fan, this will be great for you. 
for people that want to get into the competitive scene and want a very very balanced game this game will not be for you okay i know my fighting games and i'm sorry to be a critic but i can literally and i'm gonna do a video on this and i'm gonna give you an update of all the wii games that i have and all the playstation 3 games that i have and nobody can really debate on the collection that i have for those systems i get good games in the story all right we got new super mario brothers u you know the franchise has been really milk lately okay for the new new super mario brothers series okay we got new super mario brothers ds new super mario brothers wii new super mario brothers 2 and new super mario brothers u coming out in the same year all right we know that New Super Mario Bros. U is going to be a good title. End of story. No, ma no matter how many times the, the new series has been milked this gen, you guys have got to pick this game up. Like, I don't know what I can say to you. Like, seriously. You can't, you can't lose with this game. No matter how easy it is, the quality of a Mario title is going to be good. All right? You can't lose here, unless if you're just really tired of Mario, or you just really don't care. You can't lose. You gotta pick this game up. It's not really worth the $60 price tag, but hey, wait till I name all the other stuff that they'll be releasing, and then you'll double think. You got Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. Now, I don't know what was the problem with the uh, Ninja Gaiden 3 for the PlayStation and the Xbox version. But it had some trouble, and I'm not really ready to risk my money on this game. Especially when this game has came out well before, like early in the year somewhere. Okay, and it's got a three. You know, they're going to really have to convince me that this is going to be a really good game for the Nintendo Wii U. And that's the de definitive version for the Nintendo Wii U. And... They have to convince me that it's going to be a good game, if anything, okay? I'm not picking up this game. Next, Nintendo Land. I don't care what Nintendo says, it's a mini-game party game. This game is going to be great, okay? That's only because it's going to be coming with my Wii U Deluxe, all right? It's the reason why I'm going to enjoy this game. Now, if I were to just go out into the store, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and just pick up this game for $60, hex, no, I will not pick up Nintendo Land for $60, alright? The game should be bundled along with the console to give you a demonstration. If you guys want to see more detail of me going into that, check out my previous video of talking about the Nintendo Wii U. Alright, next, you got Scene Party for casual gamers. Not really interested. You got Sonic and All-Stars Racing's Transform. I heard that this racing genre was pretty good, so you may want to keep an eye out for it, but I don't know if it's worth spending the $60 for it. You got Warriors Orochi's 3 Hyper. Now that sounds like a Dynasty Warriors game, and if it's anything like a Dynasty Warriors game, screw that game. Okay, you got Darksiders 2, a good game. You got Ass Creed 3, <laughs> Assassin's Creed 3, all right? This game is looking great. I didn't like how the other previous versions look, and by all the ratings that it's got on Metacritic and all that bull crap, I didn't trust it. But I looked at this game, and something sparked my interest. So look out for that game. You got ESPN Sports Connection, another party game, not for me, but for the kids. Just Dance, casual game for everybody else, girls, soccer moms, all of those little kids, all right? That's for you and for a couple of few of people that really love that game. You got Rabbit's Land trying to replace Rayman Raven Rabbits, okay? Are you going to spend $60 on this launch game? Or are you trying to really experience something different with Nintendo Land? So it's either you get Rabbit's Land or you get Nintendo Land. Which one do you want to learn more out of?
for the Nintendo Wii U. That's all I'm saying. Unless if you're just trying to have a party game with all your friends, and these are the type of games that you want, get them. All right? You have Your Shape Fitness Evolved 2013. I don't know how this game is going to pan out, but I'm waiting for Wii U Fit. Okay? We Fit You. All right? That's what I'm waiting for. Not that game. Zombie U. A lot of people... Uh, 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 uh. Zombie U! Zombie U! I love that game! Oh my gosh, it's Zombie U! Oh my gosh, it's coming for the Nintendo Wii U! This game looks great! Okay, pay attention, alright? Just wait! Hold your horses! Did you forget that this is Ubisoft that we're dealing with? The same makers of the Ass Creed series, alright? That's a little bit shaky. The same makers that made Red Steel... One, which was horrible, and Red Steel 2, that was good. The same people that made Elibits, they got mixed reviews, okay? You gotta calm down. Hold your horses. Wait for everybody to get theirs, and then you get yours. Because I don't know if the game is gonna be good or not. It could be hit or miss. And for people to just sit up there and say, Oh, I'm getting Zombie U because of how it looks. This sounds like the Red Steel epidemic all over again so just wait for the reviews wait to see what everybody else says experience the game for yourself if you can and then purchase the title or not you got scribble knots unlimited and eh, the game just eh, to me uh game party champions sounds like a mini game it's nintendo land overrides it and then, last but not least, you got Batman Arkham City Armored Edition. Now, I don't care what anybody says, this game looks broke. If you have the options to turn off the armor, I will be picking up this game. Because, from what I'm hearing, it has all of the DLC. And I hope that it's all free for this game. If it is, and I still haven't picked it up for the PlayStation 3, mind you, okay? Still haven't picked it up for the PlayStation 3. I already got Arkham Asylum. I played that game. But just to have another perspective of how Batman Arkham City could be played. If I could just turn off that freaking armor that is so freaking broke. And I don't care what anybody says. You are going to be super broke with that armor unless they amped up that difficulty. I'm telling you. Is that game is going to be broken unless if I see reviews or YouTube videos reviewing this or whatever and they say otherwise I'm on the fence with that but the game looks great if I can turn it all off and use the motion controls and everything I'm fine I'm good I'm getting that game all right so what is missing we have uh Pikmin 3 missing we fit you missing these are coming out in the launch windows um, we have, I'm naming the important ones, Mass Effect 3 missing, Game and Wario missing, Lego City, Undercover missing, Aliens Colonial Marines missing, um, and last but not least, oh yeah, we have 007 Legends missing, and last but not least, we have Rayman Legends missing. Now really, I was really planning on having Rayman Legends as a launch title game for my Nintendo Wii U. It was no questions as that game looks great. Okay. That looks like it takes full advantage of the Nintendo Wii U controls or whatever they have to use for it. And the game looks just so polished. And it looks like a rhythm game slash platformer. So of course I was going to get it. But is it on launch date? No. Okay. So. All in all, the games that are important to me, you know, and I'm a true critic about my games. The games that look good at launch from the get-go. The games that you should be looking out, in my opinion, are for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. You should be looking out for Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Wii U Edition. New Super Mario Bros. U. Nintendo Land that's going to be bundled if you got the Deluxe Edition. If you don't, don't worry about it. And choose between Rabbit's Land and uh, Nintendo Land. You got Darksiders 2. That game is going to be great. Uh, you got Assassin's Creed 3 or As Creed 3. 
take a look at that game. That game is going to be pretty decent. You have Zombie U, which could be hit or miss. And you have Batman Arkham City Armored Edition. Okay. The main two games I'm probably looking at, you know, out of all of, everything on this list, the only thing that I feel safe with is New Super Mario Bros. U. Why? Because it's a Mario title. Okay. I mean, like, you really cannot go wrong here. I'm sorry. I hate to say it, but that's the only thing that I really feel safe with. But I still want Call of Duty. I still am thinking about Batman because I still haven't played Arkham City um, for the PlayStation 3. I have a PlayStation 3. I haven't played it on my PlayStation 3. So to pick this title up would be a brand new title to me. I don't know if I want to risk it on Assassin's Creed 3. Because of the previous Assassin's Creed games. Same thing with Zombie U. It's made from Ubisoft. And you know their repetition, uh, reputation of hit or, hit or miss games. You got Darksiders 2. But I still haven't beat Skyward Sword. You get where I'm coming from here. Okay. Your best bet would be getting Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Wii U Edition. New Super Mario Brothers uh, U. Nintendo Land, Rabbit's Land, Darksiders 2, Assassin's Creed 3, Zombie U, and Batman Arkham City Armor Edition. Now, you know, out of all of those eight, you really, I mean, like, I'm pretty good at picking out games. I don't mean to brag about it, but, you know, I'm pretty good with picking out games. You got to say that the games that I picked out right there, sound pretty good but that's it for this video i just want to ask what will you be getting at the nintendo we use lunch will you be getting mario brothers or zombie U or whatever post that up in the links i mean not the link description below what am i saying uh post that down below in the comment section below and i will be posting up my site for chatting which is the KC site, www.kcsite.weebly.com. I can't even speak today. That be posted up in the link description below, okay? We have all gamers there for you. And, you know, if you guys want to join, join, chat it up with us. We have forums and whatever and whatnot. Just let me hear your opinion down in the comments below of what you'll be getting day one for the Nintendo Wii U. With that said, Ken91 out. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace.